and won our hearts with his compelling performances in movies such as the Oscar-nominated Finding Neverland and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And on Valentine's Day, which also happens to be his 16th birthday, he looks um, set to do it again in his latest film, The Spiderwick Chronicles. Take a look at this clip. What is the door fast? I'm not running anywhere. I stopped throwing rocks at me. What is the door if you're surrounded by goblins? Get inside to protect your circle. Oh, God, Simon, he's got you in on this now? For the last time, there's no such thing as goblins. What's happening? I don't know, they're short. Aim below your knees. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Mallory, Mallory, twelve o'clock. Come on, you might get the hat. Three o'clock, three o'clock. Here, let's look for this. Please welcome the charming Freddie Highmore. Uh, this looks like a very uh, good family movie. Tell us a little bit about it. Was it exciting to make? No, oh, definitely. Were I mean, those little animated creatures scary? <laughs> um, I think it's, you know, the, the film as a whole is pretty scary, but also very exciting. You know, kids are going to really go and love it. But, I mean, for me, working as, you know, the two characters, as, you know, as they saw the twins, it was, it was a great experience. So you've been working for how many years? Um, You're six, going to be 16. 16 next week, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I've been, I guess I've, you know, started off doing smaller parts on TV in England, um, and they, they got bigger and bigger. Uh, Finding Neverland was the first big film. Oh, I really that's did. such a charming movie. Thank you. So, <laughs> and uh, and uh, how is it working with Johnny Depp? No, he's great. I mean, the thing, I guess the thing you really notice working with him is, you know, he's a brilliant actor, obviously, oh, but yeah. also a top guy and so down to earth, just so, so normal. But I was thinking about him the other day because in every single one of his movies, he, I think he loves makeup. Yeah. Because, I mean, pirates, you know, he likes to put on that grunge and then he, uh, and then this newest one of his, oh my God, Sweeney yeah, Todd. He, he, he loves grungy makeup. He likes really, he's a theatrical actor. Definitely. And, yeah. You know, when he works with Tim Burton, he's always, oh, yeah. he's always got different characters and so. Now tell so us quiet. about the spider wick. Chronicles. Now, this is a very popular, top of the bestseller list right now in America, and I yeah. guess in England and everywhere. Yeah. Uh, the Spiderwick Chronicles are the uh, really the basis for your new movie. Yeah, no, they're based. Yeah, they're based on the books, and um, yeah, it's basically just about yeah, the kids, and they go and find a, a whole parallel world. So you open a book in it, and uh, and out come these creatures. Yeah, there's a field guide, and uh, uh -huh. you know, there's a big sign saying "Don't open," but of course. We open it. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone in the audience is getting the last volume of the Spider Rick Chronicles. So if you haven't read them, well, this is the last one. Would you, would you advise reading the last before the first? Um, I guess, you know, you can... Yeah. Can you just delve yeah. into the last? Yeah, we'll get, get the first one as well. <laughs> Who discovered the Spider Rick Chronicles as, a, as um, movie, movie material, do you think? Um... I don't know. I mean, I think, you know, the, the thing that appeals to people about it is, you know, that notion kids, kids like, you know, there's going to be a different world and, right. you know, it taps into that mentality. Right. And it's also the same thing. If you tell children not to do something like don't put beans in your ears, they, they're going to put beans yeah. in their ears. <laughs> and uh, so they're going to open that book and because they're not afraid. I think children yeah. are essentially fearless until something really bad happens. Yeah. And, and they're not right? afraid to be scared during a movie. Oh, no. They like being scared. You know, they scared. like going and... Do you like yeah. being scared? Yeah. Do you like so. horror yeah. movies and all of that? I mean, maybe not, you know so much, oh, you know, not, not, not the okay. whole time, not sort of big gory movies, but definitely. You know, well, we understand stuff. that you have a sweet tooth. Yes. And we, so I thought we would make probably the sweetest thing I've ever made on the show. This is uh, a really delicious Rocky Ledge bar. Uh, and you, and it's, uh, it's fun to make because it's full of candies, all different kinds of candies. Mm -hmm. And adults and children will adore this. So, um, and, and if you want to make a special, special treat for your kids, this is one of the things. Are you, have you been prepped in the kitchen about what goes into this Little crazy recipe? Stuff, stuff to do, yeah. Okay, so, uh, Freddie, um, why don't you help me, let me see, uh, sift together the dry ingredients. Two yep. and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, um, two and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder, and a teaspoon of coarse salt. And I am going to, so you can put those all in there and just yep. whisk with the whisk. No, you don't need that. Just dump those three things in there and so whisk. So just, just sort of throw it Thump. in. Thump. Oh, yeah. there you go. Thump. 
Yeah. Good. And I'm going to, um, I have a one a half cup of softened unsalted butter, which I am putting into my mixer. Now, do you ever have time to cook? Yeah, it's you nice do? to cook. You know, it's yeah. nice to... Where do you live? In London. In um, London, okay. Yeah, so... Yeah, get, I have a godchild who lives, who's your age, who lives in London, yeah. and he's at Eton, so he's the, uh, he's a student, but uh -huh. he's, he's sort of like you. He likes he likes to do all kinds of things. He's very theatrical too, uh -huh. so he's into the theater group there. Oh, and by and the way, uh, oh yes, yeah. all of that. Now look at this uh, dark brown sugar, uh -huh. uh, which you call what do you call in England? You call dark brown demerara sugar? Yeah, it could be. There's so yeah. many different names. Yeah, like have different ones. Rutabaga well, and scallion. To keep this uh, sugar soft, just a piece of bread uh, on top of the measured out sugar and a plate, piece of plastic wrap. Do you know that? Uh -huh. That will keep the bread moist. If we uncovered that out here uh, and left it under these lights, it would get hard as a rock because it's humid. So I'm adding the sh dark brown sugar and there's one and a half cups to a half a cup of butter. Now you can break the eggs for me if you'd yeah. like. So you just break them into here and put the shells there. Perfect. And I'll dump them into here. So cream the butter uh -huh. harder, harder. Those are that ah, good. Those are for my chickens. They're they're very hard shells. So yeah. I'll, I'll put that in. This one. Yep. So you do. You got your own chum, own chicken. Uh, own chicken. Oh yeah, lots, yeah. lots of chickens. Very fun too to watch. Very inspirational. Yeah, they, they, you're getting the knack I've just got a fish. That's it, really. You have a fish? What just kind? Just a fish. A uh, big goldfish in our pond in the garden. Oh, in a pond. Okay. Yeah, not really. Uh, we used to have splish and splosh. But there you go. Oh, yeah, so you yeah, have those now. Okay, so now I'm going to add the third egg. And now, could you please give me one teaspoon of that really good vanilla right into this bowl, too? Over here, pour it over the bowl. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Into the... Yeah. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. And now um, you have an English accent, of course, Absolutely. but you have to. Uh, in your new movie, did you did you ha speak with a um, with a? Yeah, no, we had a dialect coach who was yeah. there, and. Uh, and how did you how did you learn how did you learn uh, sort of American style English? I guess I I don't know. I tried to talk in the accent as much as possible whenever I wasn't uh, filming. So you know, it becomes second nature. You'd have to. Can you revert to that anything. right now? Um, <laughs> maybe. I mean, I guess you know. You also work with a dialect coach. I heard you liked. I heard you liked uh, a book called Catcher in the Rye. Yeah. A coming of age book. No, I like that book. Yeah, yeah. it's, you it's did. useful Why? for an American accent as well. Oh, really? Why? You can read it out loud, and it sort of gets you into the, the mentality. But I guess what if the you style don't? Is uh huh. It, oh, it's the style. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, how many times did you read it? Maybe I don't know five or so. I read it a few times. It's a, it's a charming it's book, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, perfect for your age group. How many of you in the audience have read Catcher in the Rye? Oh, good. There you go. Good. So I'm adding all the dry ingredients. Uh -huh. And then we will... Oh, would you butter the pan? Yeah. Um, there, this is the melted butter. Uh -huh. And here's the brush. And just... just the yeah, just oh, the whole inside, paper sides and yeah. bottom. Okay. Perfect. So um, I'm just going to mix that up. And then we're going to fold in all our dry ingredients. Now, here's the great stuff. Um, Freddie, we have uh -huh. a half a cup of miniature marshmallows, okay? Yeah, we have good. nine caramels cut up into quarters. We have a half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate, chunked. Half a cup of white chocolate, chunked. A half a cup of butterscotch chips, whole. And here's those half a cup of marshmallows. So you, you see what I mean? This is a treat. It is not uh, a common everyday uh, little <laughs> snack, okay? But this is fun for a birthday party. It's fun for um, um, if, you, if you're going on a hike. Kind of fun to have this. So you're very thin. Is that just natural or do you diet? No, no, I don't you're diet just... at all. Yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to keep healthy? Is that? I mean, we're yeah. going to run in New York again. Oh, you did? In the park. This oh, morning. good. So oh, great. good. Yeah, we like New York. It's nice to... I did a film here for three months, and I guess you should have Oh, which one? Uh, August Rush. With oh. Sort of musical. Oh, musical yes. Musical guitar. Is that good enough? That's good. That's perfect. Yeah. So we're going to now put this into here. You can spray your hands with that... This stuff. Yeah, that um, Pam. 
uh, and you're going to flatten this out with the spatula and your hands. And then we're going to just spread add, your hand. Huh? You can spray your hands. Yes, yeah, spray both both hands. Just just so that they won't get all sticky. Okay. So here, I'll try to spread this out a little bit. And let's see. You may not have to do this, but you'll have panned hands anyway. <laughs> Huh. You can dry your hands on that towel. <laughs> I was told that I was You're told too this, good, yeah. I was told this is hard to spread, but actually it's very easy to spread. Very easy. Now you can now put all these same amount of everything again yep. on the top. So let's see how you can carefully just sort of scatter so the whole thing gets everything. Okay. Okay, you understand? Yeah. It's a bit of everything yeah. everywhere. Oh, every, that's right. And then these melt into the the bars. Oh no, you have to use your probably, probably use your fingers uh -huh. like this so that you really get them spread over. Because you don't want to get one person getting all the caramels and one person uh, getting all the marshmallows. Good. No. 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 I would say a little bit more like that. Bake this in a 350 degree oven for 35 minutes and here I'm going to show what it looks like. This is what it looks like. When we come back we'll show you how to cut it and package it. Good. Perfect. Still to come, Martha will show how to make a Valentine's Day card that really pops.